All right, I'm sharing five words in this video and four in the next. These are recent videos, words and dreams that others have put out that I felt led to share. This one concerns tomorrow. Um, so we will see if it begins to come to pass tomorrow and shortly thereafter. So, and pray about um, these things. Seek the Lord on them and ask him for confirmation. But also if they are true, if they are from the Lord, pray that um, he protects those that are his and brings others into his kingdom. So this is urgent two-day warning for 9-11-20, daughter of the Lord. Receive 9-9. Nine, nine. I share this with urgency and with such grieving in my heart, I desire only to warn others to prepare and be obedient to what the Lord has called me to do as a vessel receiving his words. The Lord woke me up at 3.36 this a.m. Looking up 3.36 from the Strong's Concordance, and it means every mountain and island coastline were moved out of their places. The innocent will be delivered, taking away life. Please repent and seek the Lord. He will guide and protect you when you seek to abide in him. Then when I went into prayer with the Lord, I received these words below. I believe this plague will be in the water and it will hit like a tidal wave fast and hard. I believe this plague will be in the water. Oh, I already read that. Sorry. Please, please take this to the Lord <clears throat> in prayer for confirmation and instructions. The Lord has been sending many warnings to stock up on water and food. That is so true. Daughter, there are things coming your way in two days that will cause destruction in your land. As the enemy wants to commemor commemorate things that happened on that day and to send a message in a new way. Their goal is to conquer the hearts and minds of those living in the land of the free and for your nation to take a knee. The enemy stands at your gates determined to seal your fate. The attack on your soil will be a plague of boils that will start along the coastland and move inland. This will cause panic and fear and a nation filled with tears. The infection will cause destruction with your supply and demand as it sweeps across the land. This will require another lockdown to control all of what is bought and sold. They will reduce your food supply and will use the infection as the reason why. You must lean on me for the things you will see and come to me on bended knee. I will strengthen you and be your guide as you walk by my side. This judgment will humble the proud and reduce the crowd in moving around. Their focus is to limit what you do so they can control more of you. The time has come for more of the beast system to be allowed in. Love your heavenly father. The coming pandemic and the long winter. <clears throat> Calamities pile up on the top on top of one another without any breaks. McCanna, May 14, 2020. So this was a few months back. It is true that the prophecy of yesterday's are the headlines of the day. We have seen from the prophecy of John Paul Jackson that there will come two pandemics. The first one is fear. The second is a killer. <clears throat> True, the fear has came and it is here to stay a while. We have heard from many mouths that more pestilence is coming. Just recently, we were given when. We have seen the time and the nature of the pestilence given, even though both are not for one person. We have been, we have to be like the children of Ishakar to discern the times as, is, as it is written. And the children of Ishakar, <clears throat> sorry, Issachar, what, which were men that had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them, were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. It is up to us to use the wisdom and understanding given to us from the Lord to find out what is next. We have seen the prophecy by Sarah Manette posted here a few weeks ago. There are two deadly killer pestilence mentioned in the first page of her prophecy. Are they the next pandemics? They are both dead, deadly and killers. Time will tell when, but for certain they will come to pass. The next pandemic is a killer. Aren't these two pandemics mentioned here as the next killers? We know now a pandemic is coming soon. We know it is a killer, but how does and how, but how does and how fast does it kill and how bad is it? In any case, it is a reminder of us who read and believe in prophetic words and warnings for the new. Here are the two prophecies by Sarah Bennett mentioned as killers. <clears throat> So the first one, blisters, white puppy sores on the skin, kills in 24 hours. 
I then saw a man walk into the middle of a crowd of people and drop what seems like a quart jar full of liquid. The jar broke and the liquid spread. I understood people nearby had become infected with the disease from the liquid, and they didn't even know it. A day or two later, the people became sick and started dying. I saw that this would happen in, the, in four particular cities, New York, L.A., San Francisco, and Salt Lake City. The disease started with white blisters, some the size of a dime, appearing on the hands, arms, and faces of the victims. The blisters quickly developed into white puppy sores. Those with the disease would stumble around and fall over dead. Many died within a short time, like 24 hours. The second, flu-like blood, flu-like virus bleeding of the nose, mouth, eyes, and ears kills in less than 24 hours. I also saw other people with a flu-like virus that spread more quickly than the first. The victims had blood coming from their nose, mouth, eyes, and ears. These people died even faster of this disease than the ones who had the first sickness. These diseases became widespread across the U.S. with hundreds of thousands infected. As the people were flee fleeing the cities in the hope of saving their lives, gangs were attacking them and killing them. In the towns that were struck with the disease, there was chaos, looting, rioting, murders involved in a complete breakdown of society. People seemed to go crazy. I sensed that the electricity had failed everywhere and that nothing was running throughout the country, including any of the communication systems. I watched people throw rocks through windows to steal TVs that would not work and, and thought it was very strange. While I watched all this happening in the U.S., my view instantly jumped to the Middle East, and I saw the same thing happening and taking place in Israel. The same sores, same type of sickness and disease that were plaguing the U.S. had also been unleashed in Israel. Tremendously long winter following the plagues. The switch in view only lasted an instant, and I was back in the U.S. There was a tremendously long winter that caught everyone by surprise following the siege of sickness. <clears throat> it started early and lasted into the summer months. A famine had begun over the few years leading up to the long winter because of storms, droughts, floods, and other plagues that had taken place, and the abnormally long cold period seemed to cause the famine to suddenly increase to its full measure. In the period of time following the disease, which was quickly followed by the long winter, things started to go downhill very quickly. Even events piled up one on top of another without any breaks. My sense of timing was not very clear at this moment. However, because I was seeing several things happening all at the same time or very close together. <clears throat> I'll leave a link to Ladder Rain 333's uh, recent video from yesterday. Um, she has a few different dreams she's sharing in this one video about Trump and Christmas time, famine, war, credit cards, and Western U.S. pandemic. So this one, September will be a time to remember, daughter of the Lord from yesterday. Sharing humbly and, and in obedience words the Lord spoke. Please take these words to prayer for confirmation. I woke up at 3.54 on 9.3, the Lord saying, September will be a time to remember, and then received the following words. September will be a month to remember, for the time has come for the truth to be revealed. As I break open all the seals, you must prepare and brace yourselves for the impact of these things that will be revealed in succession by the election. For I want you to know all that has been for show. There have been many things put into place to cause you harm from shots in your arm to taking away the farms. They want to control and manipulate you and the things you say and do. It has always been about dominion and power of the masses, separating the classes and altering my seed with a new breed. So much has been hidden from my people, even in the walls of my steeple. It is time for all the darkness to come to light, for it is a spiritual fight that will be fought with my kingdom might. Seek me in all things that will be revealed, and I will open up your spiritual eyes and ears and take away all fear. So much evil is lurking in the dark that has to do with the mark. The powers that be want nothing more than to control thee. A vaccine will soon be ready, and it is part of the plan to alter man. For it will change the way you think when it sinks to the 5G towers, when they turn on all of its power. Taking the shot is part of the plot to make you think and behave more like robots. If they can subdue many of you without having a clue, then there is more they can do to control you. <clears throat> the days will go, grow dark as they work towards implementing the mark. You must be found in me so you can see the truth from the lies and break all of the ties that would lead you astray in the coming days. I want my children to know what is ahead so you can be spirit-led. 
There's nothing more important to me than for you to spend time with me each day to hear the words I have to say. There is no time to mock as things accelerate on the prophetic clock. My warnings have gone out with a shout, and now it's time for my judgments to come about. Love your heavenly Father. A call to battle. A call to battle, September 8, Roxanne. My children, hear my words. As calamity strikes, many areas will be unsafe to travel to. You must stay in constant communication with me this day forward. Your very lives depend on it. I have removed my hand from this filthy country. I can no longer hold off the judgments for the sake of my righteous few. Thereof, or therefore, as I have promised, I cannot lie. I will guide you to safety as needed. Finish gathering my children. Finish your home services, my children. Prepare for life without electricity in many areas. You are entering a time when your relationship with me must be maintained. I will never leave you. Please do not leave me. Pray for the souls to come to me before calamity strikes. I am allowing chaos. I allow order to fall by the wayside as a warning to all who have ears sorry, to hear and eyes to see. This is a call to battle, but not a weapon battle. This battle must be fought on your knees so I can release my angels to do my bidding, my will. I wish for no man to perish. This is why I am allowing job loss, riots, lack of food, lockdowns, etc., this is to get the attention of the lost, of my backsliders, and all the churches who are asleep, not of me. Come out of her, my children. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to you <clears throat> or to my Father except through me, Jesus. I am what you lack. I am the only one who can give you peace, salvation, and order. Come to me, my children. Come now. I will not heal your land. I will not restore America. Do not believe the lie of the enemy. No president or politician will fix what I have ordained. Also, please note, America is never mentioned in the Bible after it is destroyed. America is not one of the ten kingdoms during the Great Tribulation. The fall of America will be in the fall. Buckle up. Judgment is here. My father is angry. Those who know me will have peace under the worst circumstances. Know this, my children. I will envelop you like a warm blanket. This will be the start of your great witness and harvest for me. Be ready to tell them the good news. Salvation is near. Be a good Berean. Pray over this. See if it is so. Acts 17.11. God bless.